This presentation will explain minor scales. To construct minor scales, we're always going to compare them to the major scales because that's something that we already should have proficiency in. So if you want to have your circle of fifths page handy, that might be helpful if you're a little unsure of some of your major key signatures. There are three distinct types of minor scales. The first one is the main one, and then I'm going to show you two kind of variations on that after that. This first one is called the natural minor scale. And this is the uh, only one with a proper key signature. And we're going to start with a major scale and make three alterations. And those alterations mean we're going to be lowering three of the scale degrees or three of the pitches by a half step. The three degrees are the third, sixth, and seventh note of the major scale. So let's start with the C major scale, all natural, just like my hair shampoo. Um, C major scale. Okay, one through eight, do through, uh, up through so, all the way up to do. Okay, so we're targeting these three scale degrees, the third, sixth, and the seventh, and we're going to lower those by a half step. Since we're already all natural, those will three notes will become flatted. So now we have C, D, E flat, F and G are the same, A flat, B flat, back up to C. And this is what the C natural minor scale sounds like. When we have a major scale and a minor scale that start on the same note but have different flats or sharps, we call those parallel. Okay, So C major and C minor are both parallel scales. Let's take a look at the notation on that so you get a sense of what it looks like. In the first measure I have a C major scale, C up to C all natural, and then C up to C with those three lowered notes. Again, these are parallel scales because they both are based on the note C. Let me play with this example for you. Let's look at another example. Here is the F major scale. We know that it has one flat and the first flat is always B flat. Uh, and then we're going to target our third, sixth, and seventh notes. We're going to lower those by a half step. So since those notes were natural in the major scale, now they will be flatted. And this is what it sounds like to play the F minor scale. The F natural minor is parallel to the F major scale because they both start and end on the same pitch there are just some differences between those two pitches. That's got me thinking though, the F minor scale has four flats. Well, are they following the circle of fifths? We've got A, B, D, and E. If we scramble those around, we get B, E, A, D. So yes indeed, the four flats do follow the circle of fifths pattern for the order of flats. So if we were to write this F natural minor scale with a key signature, we'd write it with four flats, B, E, A, and D. But isn't that the same key signature as A flat major? How would you know the difference? Let's take a look at another example in case you're not getting this. The A major scale has three sharps, F, C, and G, because the first three sharps are always F, C, and G. If we were to target the third, sixth, and seventh notes of that scale, we notice that the three notes I've targeted are the three sharp notes. Since we lower those by a half step to get the natural minor scale, the A minor scale has no sharps and no flats. Okay, And that we know is the same as C major. So the parallel scales here from A major, excuse me, to A minor 
That second one is all white keys, just like C major. Therefore, they are called relative scales. Okay? Relative scales have the same key signature, but they will start on different pitches. So here are those two relative scales, C major, C to C, all natural, all white keys, and then A minor, A to A, all natural, all white keys. So here's what the C major sounds like. Here's A minor. They both have the same key. A minor is the relative minor of C major, and C major is the relative major of A minor. To determine those, we look to different scale degrees. We know that in C major, A is the sixth scale degree. So, if we ever want to find out what the relative minor of a major scale is, we simply need to take the sixth scale degree, and that will be the relative minor. Or if we want to go from minor to major, we see that C major would be based on the third scale degree of A minor. And that's another easy way to get between those relative scales. If we were to think of parallel scales, for the first measure we'd be thinking C minor, and in the second measure we'd be thinking of A major. Because again, parallel start and end on the same note with different key signatures. Relative have the same key signature, but different starting notes. We can also use our circle of fifths page to determine those. The inside circle, I have listed all of the minor scales, and those will be natural minor scales. And those are all relative to the outside scale because they share the same key signature, and the order of sharps and flats is still the same. So right there is our first example. C major is relative to A minor. They're in the same pie wedge there. And they both have no sharps, no flats. What about D major? Well, the relative of D major is B minor. And they're both going to have two sharps. And those two sharps are going to be F and C. Parallel scales, on the other hand, are three wedges away. If we look at C major again, to find C minor, we have to go over to this wedge. One, two, three. C minor, natural minor, would have three flats, and those three flats would be B, E, and A. Okay, And it makes sense, too, because we know we're lowering three pitches in the natural minor scale. So a scale like C major that has no sharps, no flats, if we lower three things, well of course we're going to end up with three flats. It just makes sense. Moving on to the harmonic minor scale. Again, we're going to start with the major scale, but this time we're only going to make two alterations. Do you want to guess what they are? Well, you don't have to guess. I'm going to tell you. We're going to lower two pitches by a half step, and those will be the third and the sixth. We will not do anything with the seventh scale degree. We're going to leave it alone. Here's an example. D major scale. We're going to target the third and the sixth, the F and the B. Now, the F is already sharped, so we're going to lower that by making it natural. And the B is natural, so we need to lower that by making it flat. Now we've got the D harmonic minor scale, and this is what that sounds like. Excuse me. Sorry, I'm not playing this right at all. Kind of like the soundtrack to Aladdin, yes? Um, unfortunately, this presents us with a problem because now we've got a B flat and a C sharp. And if you remember our rule back from doing major scales, we can't write flats and sharps in the same key signature. So, what we need to do is we need to rely on the natural minor key signature when we write things in minor keys. And then we would have to go back and raise the seventh degree so that it would be the same as major. Melodic minor scales are even a little bit more complicated because they're different 
in the ascending and descending forms. Going up, we're only going to lower one scale degree, and that's only going to be the third. And then coming down, we're going to lower the third, sixth, and the seventh. So that will end up making the descending the same as natural minor. If you're an instrumentalist and you've ever practiced through the uh, state scale sheet, you would know that the melodic minor are what are used in the scale sheet for that. So we've got our A major scale ascending and descending. On the way up, we're going to target the third by lowering that. And since that's a sharp note, we're going to make it a C natural. And then descending, we're going to lower the third, sixth, and seventh, which looks a little strange because it's backwards. But those will all be natural coming down, as we discussed before. So this is what it ends up looking like. On the way up, we've got F sharp and G sharp. On the way down, all the white keys. Here's what it sounds like. play that for you one more time. So you can hear the difference of ascending and descending. One more time through these. The natural minor changed from the major scale we're lowering the third, sixth, and seventh. Harmonic minor from the major scale we're only lowering the third and the sixth. And then for the melodic minor Ascending, we only lower the third, we leave the sixth and seventh as they normally are with a major scale. And then descending, we lower all three of those for the natural minor, uh, the same key as the natural minor coming down. Parallel scales have the same starting pitch and a different key. The relative scales have the same key, but different starting pitch. <laughs>